Storm Team 10 meteorologist Matt Brooks. And we do have the chance for some heavy rain as we start off our Sunday morning. Futurecast starting off at midnight here Eastern Time. Showing fairly quiet conditions before a band of showers and thunder showers starts to make its way into the valley. First coming in from Illinois. Some of these rain pockets could be on the heavy side. We'll catch a little bit of a break during the afternoon before another round of showers and even a few thunderstorms start to flare up. Some of these could be on the stronger side around Highway 50, but the greatest instability with these storms will remain to our south. But of course, Storm Team 10 has your back and we will be keeping an eye on these storms as they pass through. For tomorrow night, this model's not terribly excited, but we could see the chance for some more heavy rainfall and some thunder showers as we start off Monday morning, July 4th. And by Monday morning, some of us could see several inches of rainfall. In fact, let's just check out this model run here. We'll start off at midnight here and we'll run it out through about Monday morning and into the afternoon. Some of us could see more than four inches of rain according to this model, but I think most of us are going to land between two to four inches. That could, of course, produce some flooding on the rivers and especially on the roadways and low-lying areas. You might do a little bit of hydroplaning if you're not careful, so just be aware of that, especially for Monday morning. So for tonight and into Sunday morning, temperatures will be dropping into the upper 50s with the rain-cooled air, and for tomorrow, only in the low 70s. It's not going to feel like July 3rd. Usually we're around 87, 88 degrees for this time of year. It's very unusual. And for tomorrow night, not quite as cool temperatures in the upper 60s, heavy rain at times, as well as some isolated thunderstorms. And in your Storm Team 10 seven day forecast for Independence Day, around 80 degrees by the 4th in the evening, I think that's when the rain and even some thunder showers will start to die off. So if you're headed out to any fireworks displays, it looks pretty good for Monday night. Tuesday, great. Mid 80s, partly sunny. Wednesday night, we do have the chance for some thunderstorms back into the mix around 88 for a high back to the 90s. Thursday, some bubble up showers and storms for the afternoon and another chance for some storms Friday afternoon and evening. Temperatures around 93 for the high. Thank you for visiting WTHITV.com. Take care.